to another episode of how to get good now today we're going to be going over synergies we are going to be going into the details behind what they are how they work how you can utilize them in combat especially inside a rotation and what you can do to build around certain synergies within the game now there's several different types there are absolutely loads of them but they are basically an ability or a bonus that comes from an ability from somebody else that you can interact with so it's a way to kind of work together as a team one person could throw out a damage skill and so could you and that's perfectly normal but some damage skills or some protection or healing skills that people throw out you can interact with personally to then take an extra benefit from it that could be damage output it could be healing done or healing received or something to that effect or it could be a damage shield it could be a different effect because it could come from a set there's lots of different benefits inside the game for several different skills sets and types of synergies now, on PC, you just hit the X, unless you bound it to another key. On Xbox, you hit the Y and the B, and on PlayStation, you hit the triangle and the circle. Very simple. You just press those together when you see a synergy effect pop up, and you can take it. And we're going to demonstrate that outside in a moment, but there are some really important passives to pay attention to. So, if you go into your Undaunted skill line, this is very straightforward, there is a passive here that benefits you for taking synergies, and this is to encourage you to work together as a team. So... If you take a synergy, no matter how much health, magic, or stamina you have as a character, because you may have loads more than somebody else, or you may have less than somebody else, you will still gain 4% of your maximum resources back. So obviously the higher your pools, the better. But if you do take any synergy, 4% of whatever you have in total will be given back to you. Now, every single synergy in the game, no matter what it is, Every single player can take. Some of them depend on positioning. Um, but every single player can take them. Now, the trick is every single different synergy has a 20 second cooldown once you have taken it. Now, the only synergy that differs from this is the spears from the Templar. So the Blazing Spear or Luminous Spear. And the orbs from the Undaunted skill line. So Necrotic Orb and you can morph it to the damage or the heal and morph. This particular synergy is exactly the same regardless of which morph you take and it's exactly the same as the Templar Spears because this is a resource gain one it's got a very specific bonus to it and they're on the same cooldown so if you pick up a Templar Spear you can't take a bubble if you pick up a bubble you can't take a Templar Spear that's the only one that has a specific cooldown to those types of skills every other one is on its own individual so to recap just quickly Every single synergy in the game has its own individual 20 second cooldown just for you once you've taken it. But the orbs and the spears are on the same cooldown because they're technically the same return in terms of what you get from the synergy. Now, a very good example for what synergies are used for is the Undaunted skill line. Now, this is somewhat underused for some. Not everybody, but for some. So, Blood Altar has a synergy effect attached to it. If you go low health or you take a synergy, you will heal. Everyone in the group can take this synergy individually um, on their own cooldowns and all that good stuff. That's 4% resources back plus a heal. But most people only really use it for the lifesteal and forget about the synergy. Trap and webs. 9 times out of 10 people do use the synergy for this. It's a long range synergy effect and you can actually do damage which is pretty hefty. In a rage is a taunt. Most people forget the synergy. The synergy is actually a big burst of AoE if you're at range and you take it. Bone Surge, this is a crazy one. Damage Shield for the entire group if you take the Synergy. Most people forget to take it, then the user just uses it for themselves. Necrotic Orb, everybody uses this one. The Undaunted skill line as a whole is your team support skill line where you can all take Synergies off each other. And they are somewhat, for most, ignored. And they shouldn't be. They're very, very strong. Now, if you took one of those Synergies each and they were all on at the same time, you just got 20% resources back. Plus, you got heal, damage output, more damage output, damage shield, and resources back. We've got a glamorous assistant out here who is going to show you a couple of different individual synergies. And this is where the cooldown comes in, by the way. So, Claw is going to hit me with a bubble. There we go. Resources back, lovey jovey. Now, he fires a spear, the dummy does. But I don't get the spear. 
Now, like I said before, spears and bubbles are on the same cooldown. Everything else has its own individual. So if I hit this dude here, he will fire a spear at me and I can take it. That will give me resources back. You did see an effect fire off there from a set, but we'll get to that in a bit. And this is on 20 second cooldown. So if Claw now hits me with a bubble, I can't actually take it. No synergy. However, after the cooldown is gone, I can take either one of the two. But you may want to take one or the other depending on what your group is set up with because two different people might be using two different sets that you benefit off of and you might want to take one synergy of their kind and one synergy of the others. It depends. It's all about your group composition and how you actually work together as a team, but synergies are incredibly important, especially that one. Now, you'll see a lot of times people actually show dummy rotations and they take this spear every 20 seconds because it's on cooldown, which is great. But when they get into combat, actual content, they ignore the spear on the ground because that's for the tank. It's not for the tank. It's for anyone. And if you are going to hump the dummy all day, which is fine, practice makes perfect, and take that spear every 20 seconds, don't turn up to content and ignore it. Because that just means that your test was inaccurate. Because if you're not using that in content, what's the point in it being there? You're not showing the ceiling or even the floor. You're just adding stuff in there for no reason. Take the synergy it's very important and the most important thing to remember which i've already been over is that once i have taken this i am on a 20 second cooldown the next one that fires anybody can take it also bear in mind if the tank is over here and they receive a spear and they take it more can be thrown around the room for everybody else you don't have to have one synergy every 20 seconds for the entire group you can fling them around and give them to everybody now something really good to note is that the bubble itself doesn't have a one-time synergy um, activation. The bubble can be taken from multiple people as it passes by. So that is actually quite beneficial inside stack ups and everyone can take the synergy themselves. Failing that, just ask for a spear. But we're gonna go over some other stuff as well, which are quite important. Bone shield, for example, you have to not just have it at your feet, you have to be close to the target. So whoever actually applies it, like this. And you can see I've got a big damage shield, which is pretty handy. Now, if Claw puts spiders on the target, you will see I can take the synergy, spiders pop out, and do loads of damage to the enemy. That can't be taken any anywhere near here. It has to be taken 15 meters or further away from the target that is being affected by it. So that's very important to know, and so is Inner Fire as well. Inner Fire is also a ranged uh, synergy activation, but you can take it and then come in again, depending on how you can manage inside those situations. If you're a DPS and you know very well how that works, you can actually see it land on the target, go backwards, take the synergy and come back in again. Now, that may be a little bit confusing because you might not know what these all do, but what you should know is inside content, when you're doing your rotations, synergies don't slow you down. Synergies a long time ago were altered in terms of how long it takes for them to be taken. And you can now take them inside your rotation just like an animation cancel. So if you've watched the animation cancel video, yes, there have been some slight visual changes. But under the hood, it still works pretty much the same. So don't panic. You'll notice things like this, for example. Uh, spin to win. You used to be able to interact with it so it makes you stutter like this. You, you look like you're barely doing anything. Well, they changed that slightly. So you still animation cancel it like this instead of doing the whole spin, but the animation is now smoother and resets you back to your idle state without looking like like this, really stuttery and horrible. Um, that still does apply to light attacks and such, but abilities do extend ever so slightly just to make them a bit smoother. Now, we're gonna get Claw here to throw me loads of synergies. It's not all the synergies you'll ever see. You can get absolutely tons of them, but we're gonna go over like three or four, and while they're on cooldown, obviously I can't take them. And when I'm not on cooldown, I can take them inside my rotation. You're gonna be able to see how effective they can be and how it doesn't slow you down at all. You just have to be more aware of more mechanics. We know that one is a ranged one. Now, I'm on cooldown for a lot of these, so I can't take a lot of them at the moment, but I will be able to now.
The only thing you have to do sometimes is alter your rotation if you think you've gone over. So if you've done a dot in the wrong order, or reverse order, it's not the end of the world as long as you pick it up again. Now what people are scared of is inside rotations they think they have to do this. Stop everything, pick up the synergy, go back in again. That's false. You don't have to do that. Just like before, you can actually throw anything you like at the target and just pay attention to your rotation. Simple as that. I'm not slowing down in the slightest and I'm benefiting from all that nice sustained damage output, shields, heals, everything is still coming and I'm not diminishing my ability to perform in the slightest. Got heals, damage, everything. Remember, the trick is to activate them during a skill. Because then you don't lose any time. It will overlay on top of whatever animation you're doing and you won't waste a second. I would encourage you to deliberately pay attention to them and not just leave them on the ground. There's a big pop-up in the middle of the screen that tells you what buttons to press. You shouldn't really be ignoring them. Now, the thing about synergies is they scale off of the user's stats. Now, why does that not make sense to most people? Because it sounds like it should come from the person that's given it to them. Technically, the person that's given them the synergy is the one supplying it, so the stats from them don't actually count because you're activating the ability yourself. So if you pick up a Nova, for example, which is um, a big, big air of effect damage bonus, um, or hit even, and knockdown, that will scale off of your highest offensive stat. Now, yes, it does magic damage, so if you're a Magicka DPS and you have points into your champion points to, to heighten that, it can be really, really powerful. But it doesn't mean that it's going to be rubbish for a Stam DPS or somebody else. You can take the effect from it, do something, and still get the resources back. Now, just bear in mind, of course, synergies that do damage do scale off of your highest offensive stat. So if you're a tank, for example, and you have 10k stamina and 10k Magicka, for argument's sake, of course, your highest offensive stats aren't that high but you will still benefit from the damage output from it which is better than nothing however above all you will get the four percent resources back and you can fit that in while doing mechanics and not affect your performance negatively by standing still and doing nothing you can do it inside your abilities when it comes to a dps using those synergies they will get a higher burst of damage out of it and everyone benefits obviously from the the boss dying faster sure but again same return four percent now, just because a tank over here takes a liquid lightning doesn't mean the DPS should be all mad about it and go, oh, that's not fair, that's ours. Same as the tank taking the spear shouldn't be the one screaming going, hey, where's my spears? You lot are taking them all. No, you're on a cooldown. If someone takes a synergy here and another one lands here, that one's on cooldown now and I can take it anyway. Now, there are many, many synergies in the game. They do damage, they do damage shields, they give you heals, all that kind of stuff. There's lots of different benefits and variations of what you should um, expect to see in content. It depends on your group. If your group's build for lots and lots of synergies, you're going to have some massive bonuses going out. You're going to have really good sustain. You're going to have high uptime on survival and damage output and all that good stuff combined. Some of them give you major or minor buffs, some of them give you damage, some of them give CC abilities like immobilization or knockdown. They all benefit your performance in combat no matter what. But there are some sets in the game that enhance this. Some of them require a synergy to be activated. Some of them require you to take a synergy off of somebody else for them to be activated. And here's a few examples of those. So, for argument's sake, we have Moondancer. This one here, if you take a synergy, for 30 seconds you have either magical recovery or spell damage. And every time you take a different synergy, this re-rolls and decides which one of the two bonuses you get. That's quite handy. Alkosh, I'm sure you're aware of this one. It's actually on this build. Toxicity is this particular build, by the way. Um, that video will be linked in the description if you're interested. This one hits targets in front of them, adds damage over time for 10 seconds, and applies a spell and physical debuff. So that actually helps everybody else hit harder. And every single time you take a new synergy, the debuff reapplies and another dot stacks. So this is stupidly strong. Um, then you've got Luna Bastion, for example. And this is more of a survival type of uh, set where you take a synergy and you put down a circle on the ground. And every two seconds, everyone inside of it gets a damage shield just for taking a synergy. This one is a little bit different but kind of on the same basis. This one doesn't require the user to take a synergy. This requires the people 
in your group to take a synergy from you. So when an ally activates your synergy, they are presented with a massive heal over time and a crit damage bonus. So you can see just a few examples of how these synergy effects can actually work inside combat, not just for their synergy effect themselves and for the resource return, but also you can utilize certain sets to over, again, enhance the performance of your group, whether it be damage, survival, um, healing, or all of the above. Now, one more thing is in your champion points. Now, if you go to the green tree, this one here, which most people tend to have anyway because they tend to put loads in tenacity and then they pick a recovery bonus. If you have Synergizer unlocked, which only requires 30 points in this tree, you don't even need to spec that highly into it. You get back two ultimate, or you gain two ultimate for taking a Synergy ability. Now, let's just say for argument's sake, I'm in content and I've just picked up a Bone Shield. I've just picked up a Nova. I've picked up a Shackle. I've picked up perhaps a bubble, and I've picked up a bud and seeds. That's five synergies. I just got 20% of all my resources back. I healed, got a damage shield, did damage, and I also gained 10 ultimate for the privilege. For those things that go flying past you, and a big prompt on the screen says, press this now. For everyone that just avoided those button presses, you didn't get 10 ultimate, you didn't get 20% resources back, you didn't get a heal, you didn't get a damage shield, and you didn't output any more damage on top of your already rolling rotation. You see how negative it is to avoid them? Don't avoid them. The more synergies you can bring to your group, the more there are to go around, and the more everybody can actively spam the crap out of them. And for those Loki users out there that really like using the Locustus set, if you want to keep 100% uptime on that, take the synergies. Not just one every 20 seconds. Not just perhaps selecting two of them because they overlap on each other and if you sit there waiting for the one underneath you're probably never going to get it because you're sitting there telling everyone else you're not going to take the top one they stack up so take all the ones you can see i've watched the eso logs i've seen some of the very very high performing groups out there have such low uptime on some of their synergy based abilities and sets if you want to even better your performances that you're getting which are great Start taking these group supporting abilities and skills more seriously. They are very important. Now, just to recap over some of the differentiations in types of synergies. These ones here that we've been using require me to take a synergy to get resources back. They require me to take a synergy to do damage. The button C's requires me to take it in order to gain a burst heal from it, for example. But there are other abilities in the game that require you to be in a negative state in order to activate them. Now, Blood Altar and Purify, for example, from the Templar skill line, which is Ritual of Retribution or Extended Ritual, whichever you want to call it, um, requires you to have a negative effect for one to be taken, and the other requires you to be under a certain amount of health. You can't take them unless your health is not 100% or unless you have a negative effect on them. So when people are testing on dummies and they're using the one synergy that's on the dummy, there are several others that you could put on top of it, but there are several in the game that you can't use while testing because you're not taking damage to be able to take advantage of them. That's why the synergies are so beneficial in combat and not that good to demonstrate on standing targets that don't do anything. So every synergy that you see from now on, if you are not familiar with them, look them up, see what they do, understand them, but above all, take them. Very important stuff indeed, and it massively heightens the performance of your group if you work together using these things. There's a reason the word is called synergy. Look it up if you don't know what it means. Anyway, hopefully that helped. Hopefully that wasn't too boring. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of how to uh, work in those particular mechanics and bonuses inside your your groups. Hopefully you now had a clear demonstration of how they don't slow you down in combat and they do still benefit you as well. And of course, hopefully you can utilize this within your own content. So first of all, thank you all very, very much for watching. I hugely appreciate the support. And if you are not subscribed, please do hit that button. It is free. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when the next videos are coming up. Also, if you would like to support outside the channel, there are some links in the info section for Patreon, Twitter, Facebook, and of course the website zynodegaming.com where all the written guides are as well. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.